Estou com o Joe Hayadega. Estou com o Joe Hayadega. Mas por que não? Ambonés. Simjela, a Joe Hayadega está aqui. O que é isso? Isso já foi o seu. Estou com o Joe Hayadega. Okay, so what does that mean? Is Tongo and Jokhaya Day gone? Did you make it through the night okay? Because we don't have good morning. <laughs> so we don't have good morning. So we just say, did you make it through the night okay? All right. Here we're going to go into. Uh, Okay, we're going to go back into this. We're going to get this now. Okay, an infinitive verb. Okay, to quit. How many can tell me what to quit is? Now, that's an infinitive verb. Wegida. Okay, so why, what, what makes that an infinitive? E-T-A. E e very good. Each one of these infinitive verbs has an E-T-A ending, and it's to quit, wake it up. But if you want to make a command, quit, what would you say? Wake us. Wake us. Okay, and what's the ending on that? Uh, see. Uh-huh, I see. Okay, here we go. We're going to go into it now. If you're making a command, go to sleep, what would you say? No, just. No, just. Very good. No, just. But what if you said, I'm sleeping? No, just. No, just. Okay. Remember now, the infinitive is no, jida. It's always got the E-T-A. -E -E. But when you're going to go to sleep, when you're saying a command, no, just use. I see. And if you say I'm sleeping, it always has the AC ending. Okay, so no jazz, go to sleep. No just command. You're telling somebody go sleep. I am sleeping. No jazz. You're, that's where you're using all the time. You got to use that AC at the end when you're doing something. Okay. To bathe is a little bit of to check. Take a bath as a command. What is it, Jordan? Aklobas. Very good. And what if you say, I am baby? Uh -huh. There you go. Okay. Shannon, are you on? Okay. Mona? What if you say, uh, what's the infinitive to eat? Okay. What about when you give a command, eat? What if you say, I am eating? Okay, Kayla, are you on? Okay. Uh, um, it, it never moves, so she could be just listening. Jennifer, are you on? Yes, I'm here. Okay. Say you wanted, what is the infinitive verb to get up? It's right here. Sound it out. Allegra. Very good. And if you're making a command, telling somebody to get up, what would you say? Allegas. Very good. And what if you say, I'm getting up? Allegas. Well, it's supposed to be an I here. That's my fault. Oh. It's supposed to be an AC. So how would you say that? Just like this, but it's got an AC there. It's Allegas. Okay. Allegas. Okay. I'll let okay. I have okay. an eye here. So, okay. 
Okay. Um, uh, Brandon? Yeah. Okay. What's the infinitive to sweet? To sweet? Basida. Okay. What if you say you're telling somebody to sweet? Bosses. Okay. And what if you say I am sweet? Bosses. Okay. Very good. Okay. So remember, too sweet. This EP up is too. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Who else is on? Anita, are you on? Okay. Uh, Jennifer, how would you say to make? An infinitive to make. Uh, hi, Ida. Uh -huh, very good. Okay. And, and if you're telling somebody, make it. Hi, uh, yes. Very good. And I am making. Hi, uh, yes. Hi, uh, yes. Remember uh, this? Yes. 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 Uh -huh. yes. Okay. Because the I is the A sound. Yeah. I, ye. Uh, C. I mean, P I E A C. Hi, yes. The Hi, I yes. Uh -huh. A. The I has an A sound. Okay. Now, Jordan, if to look for, what's the infinitive of to look for? Koboida. And if you tell him, say, look for it. Uh huh. And I'm looking for. Oh boy, yes. Okay, now anything that you do is a verb, okay? So, did anybody put any sentences together or add a word to this to say you're doing something? Jinda Coco, mm -hmm. did you put anything together? A short? Okay, go ahead. Looking for my brain. Exactly. <laughs> Coco said you could be a boy. Is. She's saying I'm looking for my brain. See what she did? She even has to look for her brain. Okay, so anything you do, you can use this. So she's saying I'm looking for my brain. Okay. So anything, you know. Uh, is is whatever you know you you put that verb to you can make sentences in a Muscogee in a Muscogee language okay <laughs> um, okay uh, Jordan to look at what's the finitive to look at <laughs> Uh huh. What about look? Come in. He just. He just. And what if I said, "You're you? I am looking at." He just. Okay. See with this and like this hijida. Okay. And if I said, "Look, Coco," he just picked up. He just. Yajoga. He just. Look at this paper. Look outside. See, I'm telling her what to do. Majito, he just, what's ma? Uh, ma. We're going to go back over these because we're, we're going to, but see, we're going to do all review. Here. Yeah. That. Yeah. Ma is that. Okay. We're going to go back over this. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. So see this, and then she can say, Jito Hijis, I'm looking at a snake. See, you can say all this, but this is present, guys. This is present, what you're doing in the present at this moment, okay? Iskida, to drink. Drink it, Iskas. I am drinking, Iskas. See, with my grandchildren, I'll say, he lives what? Iskas. I'll say, drink the medicine. Yeah, Iskas, drink this. You know, 
And, and it's sometimes it's a job to do that, but they know what I'm talking about. So they will, they know they'll drink it, you know, but East gas. And sometimes some person will come up to you and say, what are you drinking? I see East gas. I'm drinking tea. I see East gas. And you can go anywhere with this. <laughs> like liquor. We hold me. East guess. Um, you know, we hold me is like liquor. And you know, and you know, that's part that's part of a language saying you're drinking. It doesn't mean everybody's drinking, but you can use liquor as if you're drinking it. So it's anything you want, you know, to put with these to make a phrase. Okay. Okay. Tell. What is that, Jordan? Uh -huh. That's supposed to be a B here. Gosh, I made some typos here. I need to do, I need to do better than that, I guess. Oh, no, nah, yes. She knew that. So. Where is it? Right there. Okay. See this right here? Onaya is supposed to be Onayas. Onayas. Okay, and I am telling Jordan. Onayas. Okay. Um, Jennifer? Can you say to what is the infinitive to put on in the Muscogee language? A cheetah. Huh? What is if you told somebody put it on? Uh, I just. Very good. And if you say I'm putting it on. A chess. Uh -huh. Very good. Very good. That's see, she's getting this. Put it on. And remember, this is the AC at the end. AC to put it on. Okay. And this is a common word. And this is kind of like mostly um, everyday things. Cause you know, you telling people, put on your shoes. And mine mostly is my kids. Mine is my grandkids. And this is where they're learning the stuff, okay? I'll hold their coat out and say, Gaba Uchis. So they know by that physical, um, when I hold a coat out and say, Uchis, they know that I mean, I mean, put it on, okay? So, and if I say, Gaba Uchis, and I'm putting mine on, they know what I'm talking about, okay? So that's kind of like a physical response. Okay, Maggie? Are you there, Maggie? Yeah. Okay. Can you say uh, to close? What's the infinitive to, to close? And I want you to sound this out. Which one? Uh, to close. Say it again. To close. Like close a door. Oh, okay. Not the infinitive verb to close. Right here. Can you? Uh, okay. to, I don't know. I yeah. huh? did a. And remember, when you got two consonants right here, you got to pronounce both of them, right? So you go up, put, the, da. Up, put, the, da. Okay? And what if you told somebody to close, close it? I hope he. I, I hope he. I, I hope he is. Oh, no. Yeah, up, put, this. And you don't actually see that D, but if you say it, up, put, 
Yes. Your the first teeth, your tongue is underneath, is on your palate. You want, and there's no silent sounds, remember, but you will feel your tongue on top of your palate. Aquatus. Aquatus. Can you say it? Aquatus. Aquatus. There you go. There you go. And if you, when you say it, feel where that first D is right here. You'll feel it on the palate of your, you'll feel your tongue on the palate of your mouth. And you won't really hear it. And there's no silent sounds. That's how come I say when you say your words, make sure you know where your tongue placement is because it won't really be there, but you'll feel it. Okay. I am closing. But if you said I am closing. Okay, that's close it. You're telling somebody close something. But if you're saying I am closing something right here, what would you oh, sound it out? Okay, the, the IS has an AC sound right here. AC. Okay, I got to go. <laughs> okay. Akhot des. Akhot des. Okay, so there's that akhot des. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Right here. We're going to go to this one now. This is going to be infinitives, commands, and doing. And I'll put this all on one page. So you're doing things, okay? Okay, Jordan, to quit. What's the infinitive? Okay. And quit as a command. Okay, and I am quitting. Uh -huh. Way good. Okay, so like with this, and you can say, way good is to quit. So you can say, I don't get a way good. Quit your job. Yeah, see, you can say that. Okay, and then you can say, I am quitting. I don't get a way guess. Or a whole thought. Way guess. Quit sewing. But you can also say, I quit sewing. A whole, a whole, a whole thought. Way guess. See? You can just put these in the anything. You can quit anything. <laughs> <laughs> you can quit anything and you can tell people to quit. Thou Scott Vegas, quit jumping. But you can also say, Thou Scott Vegas, <laughs> I quit jumping. See? Any of these, you can put a word in front. And basically, in, just like English, when you say, Quit, quit jumping, quit talking, quit doing this, quit doing that. You can say that in the Muscogee language, except in a different way. It'd be all Muscogee. You can say uh, to you, to in English, whatever you can say in English of commands, you can do in Muscogee. In doing anything that you're doing, you can do it, you can do it in Muscogee. Okay. Does that make sense? Okay, so you're just crossing over from English to Muscogee. Okay, and I want everybody, forget English, member, but the thing about it is, is you got to cross over to your uh, left side. Okay. Uh, uh, who, Anita, are you on? Okay. Uh, Well, who's on here? Brandon. 
<laughs> okay. To sleep, do it, Margaret Go to sleep, mother. No jazz. I am sleeping. No jazz. Good. Let's see. Okay. Coco. Bathe, Nagadoa. Go to sleep, da. Oh, no, I did the wrong one. Take a bath. <laughs> okay. I am bathing. Machi. See what she did? She's saying. Aglobita. And then she makes a command out of it. And then she turns around and says, I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. She's saying, I'm doing it. Okay. Uh, Jordan, to eat. Telling somebody to eat. And I am eating. Home best. And you know, this right here, I told him yesterday, I said, this is a common word within our Muscogee people. If anybody comes over and we're eating, we'll say humbus. We'll tell, we'll tell our kids humbus. We even in here, we'll say humbus. We'll say humbus. And, and that's just, that's a common word with, with our people. That's a, it's a word that we I use a lot. Okay. So y'all remember that right there. because that's, that's a common word between our people. Okay, um, who uh, who else is on? Lisa, are you on? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, can you say what's the infinitive to get up? Alegra. Uh huh. Get up. Command. Alegas. Uh huh. I'm getting up. This guy. Yeah, alegas. I like gays. Here we go again. I'm just doing the, I'm the one that's making all these. Right there. Okay. Okay, now. Okay, this is a big one for us too, sweet. This is the one that I always had, I hate it. Okay, who's on here? Anybody else? Just pop up, guys. Cause... Jennifer? Yes. Okay. Too sweet. Basada. Right. Sweet. Oh. Basis. Uh huh. I am sweeping. Bosses. Very good. Very good. So the next time somebody asks you what are you doing, you say bosses. I am sweeping. But if you want somebody else to do it, you tell them this, bosses. Jennifer, you can do that. You can do that. Okay. You can do exactly like that. Okay. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Uh, Coco? Mm -hmm. To make, Nagadi. Right, we'll Appreciate it. Uh huh. Make it. Ah, yes. I am making. Ah, yes. Okay. So, see, if I want to give Coco a command about this, and this is a big one to you right here. Highest. I could say, Coco, I see. Highest. Or I can say, Coco, Dalegi, highest, make bread. Or I can say, Coco, uh, gravy, highest. I can tell her to make gravy. Okay, and she can answer me by saying, Ah, yes. See? She's saying, I'm making it. <laughs> And she can say it with attitude too, because she says, "What? Ah, yes. <laughs> Not, ah, yes. <laughs> and she can say, you know, see, all this is just switching over 
I made, I told her to make tea. I asked her to make bread. I asked her to make, you know, actually I was telling her to not like as a mean command, but just in, in the Muskogee world, there's a lot of telling. More, not more asking to, okay? And, and they take it as that. It's understood, okay? Uh, uh, any questions so far out there? Anything that you want cleared up here? Is anybody confused? Because I sure don't want you confused. We don't want confusion, okay? Any confusion? So, Boxy, tomorrow, we're going to go back every lesson we went through. And we don't, we can skip some of the sounds, but we're going, would y'all rather go through the sounds, Boxy? Because we're going to go through Magus and all this other stuff that we started with. Because every Friday, I'm going to try to do a review so that just to keep, so that you can retain all this stuff. And then we'll go right back through it. And then I'm going to try, I'm going to try over the weekend to make sentences with all this on to do and do it. So that way you'll kind of get what you, uh, what you need, you know, kind of get a clear picture of what trying to do. Mm -hmm. And so it's going to be up to you what we're going to learn the next six weeks. Okay, so, so okay, we got one more week. One more week in the six week session. of the six-week session. Okay, so the next six weeks, I'm going to ask all this, okay? This is, and you can email it, put it on here, even tell me, what do you think you want to learn next? Because you've already started I am doing and giving commands, which commands is a big part of our lives anyway. And then we have I am. I am doing something. Remember your, your language is verb prominent. That's one thing I need y'all to remember is verb prominent. <laughs> so is there anything that y'all want to learn that we could go into or we can go into the continuation of this past, present. Now we did pass on these, right? Okay, we did pass on like way gas. I am quitting. Way gayons. Remember the answers in there. Way gayons. I am sleeping is no jazz, but the past would be no jayons, and it's got the unks ended. Okay, the unks ended. If you get these endings done, it's got a different meaning. That ending makes different meanings. Okay. So if you say I am I am bathing, I'm low best. You can do it in the past uh, in the past saying I'm low best. I am eating home best at this moment, but yesterday I ate home best. I got that paper up here somewhere. So I am um, getting up is I lay gas. You can say I lay the youngs. But you lay God, I lay guns. I got up at noon. <laughs> See, but it's still past, isn't it? I think it'd be good to um, use these words and Make sentences out of All right. And help us speak the language. Okay. There you go. There you go. We had Coco say we need to make sentences out of them. So, guys, look at what you're doing right here. Looking for, say, to look for. This is an example. To look for. Give me some examples about looking for in the next six weeks. We'll work with these same words, same verbs. But now remember, there's more than this. Okay, we left out to jump, to dance, to to uh, fight. to fight, argue. argue. Those are all infinitive verbs. Look how many infinitive verbs we left out. Okay, 
to cry, to laugh. We left all those out. And, and those are all, look at how many verbs are in our language. How many verbs are in our language? That's when I say there's our language is verb prominent. Okay. So with we're gonna the next six weeks we will work with this. But now boxing. We're gonna go from the beginning and get as far as we can. Okay. From the beginning. We're gonna start that. Okay. So any questions so far and any confusion, guys, y'all need to ask me because. If I can explain it, I will. And I don't want no one to be left behind. I don't want no one to be um, say, okay, I, I know a little bit, but not much. Ask me. Don't be afraid of your own language. Don't be afraid of it. Don't let it intimidate you. Don't, don't be afraid of it. And, and if, most of all, don't be afraid to ask questions. And don't be afraid to make a mistake. Don't be afraid to make a mistake. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be afraid to be wrong either. Because we can be. You know what? Everybody's wrong. One time or another. I'm wrong 10,000 times a day. <laughs> and I make mistakes every day. So guys, don't be afraid to make a mistake. Don't be afraid to be wrong. Ask questions. Don't be and there's and there's this one right here. There is never a stupid question. There's never a stupid question. And on a lot of things, that's the only way you're gonna find out. Okay. So we're the next six weeks, Judy. Uh -huh. We're gonna start with this and we're gonna make little phrases out of them so that y'all can say them. Okay. If you're comfortable with the sounds. sounds. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And then Boxido, we're going to go back over as much as we can. And then, but every session, I think, if we, we're going to try to do those sounds, even if it's the single sound and two-letter sounds. And then, if we, then the next day, we may go into the three-letter sounds so that we'll have time to do some things. Is that all right with y'all guys? Do you want to take a week break or y'all want to just, you need a plan for it. Yeah, I need to do a plan. Listen, plan. And, and make sentences and do, yeah. Um, Lisa said on the next six weeks, could you break up the two and three letter sounds on paper? Do we have, we have it. Yeah. For each word. For each word. For each word. Uh, oh, I wonder if she's talking about <laughs> If there's a word like say from up there, <laughs> okay. I'm I'm here. What I was trying to say is like on legata, you know, break it up L I and then space. Okay. E, okay. I see what like, you're saying. I see what you're saying. It's easier to read if you can sound it out. When you see the whole big word, it's kind of hard to break it up yourself. You want it like written like that? Yeah, right? that would okay. be a lot easier to read from my okay. view, anyway. <laughs> okay, okay, that's that. Yeah, well, we got agreement here. See, there you go. That's just break it up. Yeah, we can do that. I can do that. I can do that. So yeah, we can do that. Anything else? But see, like I said, all these are sounds. And that even uh, backs my theory up on this is sounds. It's just learning your sounds to get the pronouncing down, done. See there? I can do that. I can do that. Anything to help you learn this language, okay? And then we will make phrases with this. So the next six weeks, we're going to start making phrases. With, we go, so we're going to go over these, okay? 
until y'all get it clear down to re retaining it. I want you to retain it. So, so guys, here we go. We're going to be doing that. And if this is the last, so boxy, we're going to go back over. Boxy is what? Can y'all tell me what boxy is? Tomorrow. I've said it longer, you know, over and over. That's where that repetition comes in. Boxy is tomorrow. Boxy, we're going to do. We're going to start all back from the beginning to do a review. Because tomorrow's our last class, Judy. No, we got one more week. Okay, we got one more week. So tomorrow, I try to do on Friday's review. And that way, if y'all have any questions, y'all can ask and we can clear it up then before the new week starts. So, <laughs> then we're going to start putting words together. And remember listening. Remember I said boxy. I say that every day, don't I? Boxy. And I always say tomorrow. So, you know boxy means tomorrow. So, boxy, we're going to do a review. And we're going to go through sounds again. And, of course, I will break these up. Like this one right here, home bidder. Uh, this is going to be a little different. This is breaking it into om, om, be, yeah. Ak, lo, be, yeah. Remember I told you these sounds is the Muscogee language? That's what it is, guys. And it, these sounds make the language. No. No. Chi. Da. Ah. Le. Ki. Da. Pa. Si. Da. Ha. Ye, da, o, bo, ye, da. See, every one of those sounds made every one of these words up here, and they're different words. <coughs> so, guys, okay, and I will do that. Any other request, anything, okay, that I can help you with, let's. We have, you have to ask questions and, okay, anything else? Any questions so far? And we'll go back over everything tomorrow and we may even go over them at the beginning of the six weeks and then go jump into this one because I want that retention. Okay, how do I, how would you say, say it? Magus, Magus, uh, I didn't hear you. Jibox. And that's two way. Remember, you can tell me that too. Okay, you can tell me the same thing. So, any questions? Jinda, Coco, we're going to do what Coco said, you know, just to go back over this and make sentences with them. And you can do anything with this. This language can go back. Uh, anywhere it wants to go, any direction it wants to go. Okay. So I think that Lisa had a good idea of breaking it into break it into sounds. Yeah. It make it easier to you know you know where to stop to say the next sound. Yeah. And I think that was a good suggestion. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll start breaking them up, and so you know, be studying your sounds too. Be studying them. You know. Uh, just sitting around, study your sound. Uh, just um, look at something, see what it is. Look it up in a dictionary. Like if you see something that's got your eye, like, and you're curious, wonder what that is in the Skokie language. Look it up and say, oh, that's what that is. And now you can actually break those sounds up and pronounce it now, okay? 
So, guys, um, next week will be our last day, and then we'll take a break. Then we'll jump right back in. Okay, we'll jump right back into it. Um, I know some people said this. This is hard. I quit. You know, when we was coming on that trail, we didn't say it's too hard. We quit. We brought it with us. You know, we brought it with us, even though it was a hard trail to walk. We did, and that's my that's my feeling. You know, I, sometimes I I think about what my family went through when they were on that trail because I know they went on it, or I would be standing in the soil of Oklahoma today. So I know they were on it, and I know they brought that language with them, and then left it to me. I was very fortunate that they left some, something of them to me, a little bit of them with me. So I was very fortunate, and I'm leaving it to you. <laughs> I'm leaving that to you. So y'all guys, come on. Let, I, that's how come I have all the respect for y'all when y'all take this class. So next week, what we're going to do, say it. Magus. <laughs> We're going to do Magus <laughs> all the way through. Magus, Magus, Magus. Say it, say it, say it. Okay. Any questions? Any comments? You got a comment? Let me know. If you have a question, let me know. If you feel like uh, you know you you're not getting it, let me know. Cause it doesn't hurt to keep going over and over and over. It doesn't hurt you. All it does is help you. Nothing? Hey, my dog. Oh, my. <laughs> Jinda, Judy, any comments? It's been good so far. I mean, I'm learning more and more, so it's been good. Somebody? Messing up my spelling in English now. Yeah, I'm finding <laughs> out that I'm spelling Greek. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay if you, you know, you, well, we did, uh, can't hardly spell in English, but you know what? It'll come back to us because it's an English dominant world. When we turn on our computer, first thing it says, what's your password? <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, you won't forget English. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. And that's what I tell, you know, I was worried about my grandkids learning Muscovy and my husband said they'll learn it. Don't worry about not learning English because it's all the way around. And he said, speak Creek to him. So that's what I do. And that's what I'm going to do. And I'll be using Creek a lot. Like I said, boxy, you know, boxy. So, and I'll translate it so you'll know it, but it's you too. Say, oh, boxy tomorrow. And just say boxy. Okay, any questions? Okay, so boxing, Chihijagathis. And Okharalaga. And furthermore. Yeah. Muskogi Bunagagita Chat. Learning the Muskogi language. I have respect for you. So, boxing, y'all come back tomorrow. Chihijah is boxing. But oh, 